Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. Today we're in McKinney, Texas. And we're at Horsepower Research. I'm joined by owner Eric Koenig. And between us here is a 465 cubic inch LS7, and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Eric, pleasure to pleasure to be here. Pleasure, to pleasure to, you. yeah, pleasure to see you. Uh, you know, we just got done doing a nice shop tour of uh, what you guys do here at Horsepower Research, and you know, one of the the cooler engines that you guys have in the shop right now and that coming together is this LS7. So we'd love to know a little bit more about it. And uh, if you could kind of walk us through, you know, what this project's gonna be and, and what all is inside it. Um, this is, like you said, it's a 465 inch race gas uh, specific, uh, basically an LS7. Uh, it's a dart uh, aluminum block. Mm -hmm. It's got a um, big lifters in it. It's got a big cam core. It's got a jessel belt drive. It's been modified so there's no oil drain back uh, to the bottom from the heads. It, it's all scavenged via a dry sump pump, which isn't on it right now. Mm -hmm. um, but this is kind of like our king of the hill road race engine. It, it should be about 900 to 1,000 horsepower, depending yeah. on cam. And this has a more moderate cam to have a lot of mid-range, but this motor should have about 950 horsepower. So yeah. it'll be about 850 to the wheels, and a, it should be really reliable. It's got a really uh, fancy oiling system it, it'll pull vacuum the heads on here are uh, cid okay. uh, ls7 solid roller heads uh, it has steel tnd rockers they're they're back in the corner here but uh, they basically are ls7 heads they're just bigger and uh, badder yeah. they they have a port that uh, actually tony bischoff and john at cid designed where the port is almost dead straight there's not a a dog leg wall on the intake pushrod side. So wow. it's really nice. These particular ones were done by uh, MBE and um, we have some of our own ports too, but that's an MBE head. It's a small oval port. And um, yeah, this will probably run on some kind of race gas, not alcohol. Mm -hmm. And uh, But um, it also, it'll have a, a big carb intake. It's one of John at CID's intakes and it'll have a 4,500 uh, EFI drive by wire throttle body. Okay, very good. Yeah. So Eric, you talked about some of it. Um, you know, I got the dart block. How about some of the rotating assembly components in here? Oh, this has a Bryant um, eight counterweight, all radius pin arm crank. It has dyers, rods. It has uh, Wiseco pistons. It, ha it has a small dish because the chambers are so small. Um, at this engine size with a 40 cc chamber, we end up having to have a dish but um, that doesn't usually hurt anything. Um, these pistons have real small, you know, I think they're eight tenths millimeter rings and a two millimeter oil rail. Um, they're very light, they're 3D milled. I think these pistons weigh about 410 grams. Yeah. They have a little tool steel pin. Um, it's, I think this has a bob weight of about 1600 grams. So okay. it's fairly light, yeah. even though it's big right. and um, yeah, it's all biased towards endurance. The valve train too, it's Billy Gobbled at Comp helped us. It's got some really modern uh, lobes. It's about 850 lift. It has old uh, Toyota cup springs for the valve springs. And uh, um, those are from Joe Hornick. And uh, we have some from Joe Hornick, JHE, and some from uh, ECR, okay. Childress Technologies. So, yeah, yeah. but yep, it's uh, it has to have custom headers too, but it's... Uh, We've done other, uh, these motors with those heads can make over a thousand pretty easily. Yeah. Some people, if in a drag race format, you can make over 1100. Yeah. So they're pretty, they're pretty, uh, pretty stout. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now you mentioned a couple of valve train components. How about, you know, how about the rest of it in terms of, uh, valves or rockers, you know, things like that? Push rods? Yeah. This, this will have, um, I think we have on the intake, it's a trend one piece, uh, half, uh, Half inch tapered push rod and the exhaust. It's a, it's a Manton um, half inch. Uh, it may be a five eighths even push rod. Okay. Um, and it has a T and D steel rockers. Yeah. It has um, 
the heads are beryllium copper seats. Um, it has really long guides. It's a seven millimeter intake and five sixteenths exhaust. And uh, so the valves are from Exeldyne, I think. Okay. Um, they may be from Victory, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, it's, it's all really nice stuff. Yeah. It uses, uh, um, it'll have spring oilers and some other stuff too. But um, mainly this will have a real, it, they have a daily, but it's, a, it's all out race daily. They make dailies that are, we call them the mini me daily. <laughs> it's a, a, called a 666. This one has a, a big daily. Yeah. So it, it has a, it'll, it'll, it'll do what we want to do. And you talked about it being a dry sump system. Uh, you know, how many uh, stages? Yeah, this would be, I think it's six stages. Um, I think it has four. It either has three or four on the bottom. It has one on top, and then it has a pressure stage, you know, obviously. Yep. Yep. And I think he doesn't have an air oil separator, does he? He may have an air oil separator, too, that kind of centrifuges out the oil from the air. Okay. Um, yeah. So I don't know. That might be a seven stage. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, cool. I don't know how they qualify all the stages, but but yeah, it has several. Um, uh, it's it's more of a real race engine. This thing, which you can't see here, that's even just so that the oil level. If it did fail, if the scavenge up here were to fail, yeah. it'll start. Got it'll go very, around the belt drive. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. And it can pull vacuum on the bottom end because everything else is sealed up yeah. through that hole. Excellent. So Eric, you said it's a road race like endurance setup, um, and then off camera, I believe you were telling me it's it's a uh, truck that it's going to be going. Yeah, into. this is um, this is Scott Rods, who is from Scott McMillan. He owns a big shop here. They do all these custom trucks, and it's his personal road race truck, okay. which is a sequential transmission. It has sputters, wings. It's super light. It's a. It looks like a truck, <laughs> but it's 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 an all-out road race car. Yeah, it's road got race a, truck. Got a serious yeah. chassis. And yeah, Optum. Yeah. Several classes here. They've started doing uh, road race uh, trucks now. So it's it's. It might be too fast. He might get scared when he drives this. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> and what and where is he? Do you happen to know like what type of races Fort he's going to do? Right. Or? Oh. Oh. I think he 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 just he. I don't think he's trying to make a whole season or anything, but I think he's going to go to all the stuff he can go to when when the truck's done. I think the truck's mostly done. Okay. We've been waiting on stuff during the pandemic. We were waiting on this crank for a while, and we've had all sorts of stuff yeah. with uh that was just because of scarcity. Very good. So. Well, definitely cool. And we appreciate you telling us about it. So yeah. thank you, Eric. Thank yeah. you. Thank Guys, we appreciate you watching this episode of Engine of the Week. Uh, make sure you're checking out everything that Eric has going on here at Horsepower Research. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on enginebuildermag.com. Thanks.